Oh, good morning, guys. Um, so, oh, I'll say good morning, good afternoon. Um, so, you've now joined me actually on my latest video. Um, I'm out with my camera, as you can see. I'm on the 8 mil, and I'm at this uh, waterfall. So, what that basically, what I'm basically doing, is I'm trying to get around my tripod, is uh, I'm trying to sort of set up. Um, oh, I'm exposed actually. Basically, I'm putting on. Um, I've got a variable ND filter on here, and that's very boost, so they are good. Uh, they are good on that one. Yeah. Uh, push that up a second. Now, what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to make sure I am um, pinpoint sharp on um, basically the centre of the uh, waterfall. A lot of people might be thinking why. That is because I want it to be nice and sharp. Now, I am actually out with my grandpa, my granda, and um, my dad. But I got this place off Facebook. Um, I will actually leave a link in the description, um, basically just explaining where it is. Now, why are you going all purple on me? Okay, put that zero exposed. Uh, must be a light leakage. Great. Uh, uh, stop it down, literally. What? Not that much of a shot difference. Um, I'm just going to have to change out all my colour profile. Okay, I am on colour profile 5 anyway. Uh, standard anyway. Jeez, now watch this. This is what happens when you come to this area. You have to drive your car through there. Now that is chaos. Now my dad said he wouldn't do that today because obviously it's just so dangerous. So we've obviously had uh, quite a bit of rain recently. Um, actually I want... Right. I want to just check on balance and I'm not. Perfect balance, right. Now my challenge is to enough to not fall over the edge with you guys um i've got to try and find my release now, i've got a remote release um i could quite literally do a two second timer but i prefer to do cable shots so i'm gonna do there we go take that out don't want to lose the bag there we go so that's that sorted. There we go, sweet. Uh, I'll switch that off live view, obviously I can still see. Right, there. There we go. Okay, so I've got that on for like 15, 20 seconds. Something like that. Super simple. Um, I might actually try and shoot a time lapse as well. Um, but, um, Okay, um, I've got a problem. I've got a lot of light leaking through my uh, ND filter. So I'm just going to try and uh, centralise it again. Okay, I'm so out of focus here. Actually, that's unbelievable. Uh, that's about eight. So it's quite awkward. So, actually, I'll show you. So that sort of blue speck over there um, is actually my car. <laughs> and the sky's a lovely uh, issue is. Look, the sun's right there. Now that is not nice because had the sun been behind me, it's a different story. I might have to just stop using this ND filter and buy a new one. Uh, Official idea actually. And now I'm getting a, like a lens flare. Not good. So I'm actually going to underexpose my shot quite a bit uh, by like two stops. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm dropping the aperture as far as I can, which is f16, um, which isn't good. 
but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try that again. The good thing is I can shoot this on live view um, and also through the eyepiece. Um, before I couldn't, I mean, this camera I'm using right now. But there we go. So, what are my settings? Basically, I'm shooting at ISO 100, uh, underexposed by two shots, two stops even. And that's worked. So, I want to get rid of like, a lens flare. So, I'm going to just sort of change up my angle, I think. Um, I have got my action camera on top of my, little, my camera right there. But like, I just haven't bothered, so, you know, I don't bother using it. Um, I am using my tripod, my little card, like my little tripod there, uh, even. So, uh, let's just bring that up again. Come on, baby, come on. I might even put it into bulb mode and then just underexpose my five stops, literally. Uh, my ISO is actually pretty light, high up. So that could be why I was shooting at like, ISO 200. You want to be like F16, possibly 30 seconds, see what happens. Um, I might even put it as... Let's just do like a one and a half second shot. Because obviously I can um, bring up the exposure again now, which I'm happy about. Um, I'm going to underexpose by one stop. So like, in the background right behind me is my pair. Uh, Yo, yeah, that's actually quite cool. Um, let's just try and expose for this screen, mate. Like. Yeah, basically, you can't really see it that well. Um, yeah. So, I am happy with how these shots are turning out. I want to now sort of try and get more central, so let's just roll it up a bit. It's a lot, it's a quite awkward shot because obviously I'm on a bridge and the bridge isn't what you call wide enough for me and my camera uh, oh, I know I'm going wrong guys my ISO is actually on automatic oh dear so although I was thinking um, my shots were perfectly exposed the words I mean, they were perfectly exposed by the ISO um, I apologise if you can see my like, camera shake I'm actually freezing it's ridiculous how cold it is here. Um, I'm going to try and get a shot now. Oh, mate, that's sweet. Because I can bring up my shadows. Actually, hang on then. Can I bring up my exposure properly and shoot it on a timer? Yo, 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 I've got to get a shot of this again. This is sweet. Yeah, this guy's like, fucking, what? Yeah, oh, no, no, look. It's just literally, what the hell? Yo, that's sick, isn't it? Oh, so we got cut off there, guys. This guy was looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" Right, I'm gonna move away from my tripod. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna stop recording for a minute. So, um, yeah, what I've done is I've switched back over to my 18 to 55. Back again. <laughs> that guy's chaos, man. Right. Switch that off for a second. Switch the back onto my gear. Yeah, so. 
So obviously I haven't got an ND filter on my 18 to 55, I am going to have to underexpose my rake. I'm just going to underexpose. Right, by four, three and a half, four, three, three and a half stops. So we'll test it at three, and um, assist info. Remote release is on, on, on a ball, on timer actually. Oh, I can get a lot darker on my lens with this. Which is awesome. There we sec, guys. No, do you know what's made it worse, isn't it? It's <laughs> water on the lens, like. Um, yeah, they're like right over there, so I've basically switched out my 50mm. Yeah, so I have to be very careful how I'm exposing this, guys, because obviously, um, what is it? I don't want to shoot at a timer, time mode. So that's like just letting way too much light in, even though I'm underexposed, I'm like five stops, it's chaos. So basically I'm really going to set up. So as you can see, got the tripod, action camera, not using it, I'll just put it on for fun. Um, I'm sorry, you can see sort of how white that is. I need to work out how now I can safely get a shot without underexposing, uh, overexposing the shot. But I don't think I'll be able to on that lens because I haven't got the filter. I'm slowly getting there, but it's gonna have to be like you no. Know, See, I might even just zoom in. Um, and hopefully I can get like, uh, yeah, so I can get F32 on it now, which is nice. I'm gonna try it on 10 seconds and shut that. See what happens, guys. Okay, so that's gonna actually uh, end today's vlog, guys. Um, I'm gonna obviously try and insert some video photos at the very end of the shot. Um, so I'll see you in the next video, so like and subscribe for more videos. If you want to see more videos like this, do let me know in the comments. See you guys.